Hi, welcome to week three of our virtual book study of Cool Flowers, how to grow and enjoy long blooming hardy annuals using cool weather techniques. So glad you decided to join us. Um, so we're in week three and this is an exciting week because this is the week that we're gonna figure out when you should plant hardy annuals in your garden. But before we jump into that, let's just do a little bit of housekeeping. Um, down below, you'll find um, a link where you can sign up to have um, an email dropped in your box each week as soon as um, we go live with the next week. Also below is a place for you to post comments. Um, we would love for you to share your questions and your concerns, your experiences. I'm monitoring it and chiming in and other people will chime in. Um, so we just really want to get the conversation going and get your questions answered. And there are no dumb questions, okay? I totally get that this is kind of foreign to a lot of people. And we're going to talk about that today too. So also, if you don't already have your copy of Cool Flowers um, that you're using to follow along in the book study, there's also a list of vendors down below and you can select your favorite vendor and pick up a copy. And also, this study is available on our website anytime. Um, so you can go back and review or share it with your friends and we really appreciate it when you do that. So today's um, chapter is when to plant, following Mother Nature's calendar. And I have to tell you that um, if you take a moment, sometimes sometimes we get so caught up in our to-do list and what's um, what we're getting involved in that we don't always do a lot of observation when we're out in the garden. I have perhaps learned more about when to plant stuff. Um, from Mother Nature more than anything else. And this is um, a story I'll tell you, a real quick little story. Um, it's not about a hardy annual, it's about a warm season tender annual and it's sunflowers. I learned that I could plant sunflowers so much earlier than I thought that I could because I would find reseeded, that means that a flower made seeds and dropped it in our garden. I learned from reseeded sunflowers that I could plant like weeks before I thought I was supposed to plant. And that led me years later now to planting sunflowers three weeks before my last frost date, planting transplants. I do cover them with a row cover and they do great. The moral of this story is that's a warm season annual and they really shouldn't do well early on, but they do when I give them a little bit of help. And so watching Mother Nature can really teach you a lot about your garden. So the first um, thing I want to address is that perhaps this information um, of when you plant is the most significant um, key to success with hardy annuals. And it's about the timing of when we plant these plants. Um, you've heard me say before, most people are storming the garden to plant this group of flowers, in fact, during the time that they should be almost ready to bloom and perform. So I also want to share that I didn't make this up. I didn't discover this. Our grandmothers actually practiced this. And my theory on why they knew this and that we didn't know this is you know, back before the 1950s, everybody had a home garden. The mom of the house um, had a vegetable garden, and she, of course, she always had a row of flowers in it. And they were so in touch and in tune with Mother Nature's calendar that they knew to plant cool season plants, vegetables and flowers, during the cool seasons. Here where I am, we live in Steve, my husband Steve's grandparents' homestead. When I first started gardening here, Steve's mom would share with me often and I never, I don't want to say I didn't believe her, but I couldn't believe it. She would tell me about Grandma Ziegler planting bush peas and snap peas in January on, and at Christmas time. And I thought, how in the world does that happen? Well, she knew the secret. And when I went to do the um, research for Cool Flowers, I had to go back to books published 
before 1960, even 1950. When you go back to old garden books, they talk about planting hardy annuals during these times that we're going to discuss. So today we're going to figure out when you plant. So cool season, the annuals, hardy annuals, are planted either fall, winter, or early spring, and I shouldn't have said either. Many of us, I'm in zone seven, I can plant a lot of stuff in the fall. I can also plant in the winter, and I can plant early spring. Um, those people that are in zones eight and nine can also practice that. When you get to zone six, five, um, there are a few things that you can plant in the fall, but all of us, no matter where you live, plant in very early spring okay so I'm gonna um, we're gonna talk about when is fall and early spring in just a second but how do you figure out what to plant in cool flowers um, there's 30 flowers featured and on each page that has that flower it tells you what zone that flower is winter hardy to so let's just say you live in zone 6 and you look at snapdragons. Well, snapdragons, I haven't looked, but I think they're hardy to zone 5. I, so if they're hardy to zone 5 and you live in zone 6, that means they're going to survive your winter. You would always choose to plant in the fall if a plant survives your winter. And why is that? Because when that plant is planted in the fall, it has the entire winter to grow roots, to get well established, to be ready, set, to go the first sight of spring. There is no comparison of the quality and the, I'll say the quantity of the plant. They're so much more robust when they've had that long time. So whenever you have a choice, you always plant in fall. If it'll survive fall, if it'll survive through your winter, you could plant fall and winter if you don't freeze, your ground doesn't freeze, and again in early spring because they'll all kind of bloom out a little bit later um, than the earlier planting. So if a plant is hardy in your zone, you can plant it in the fall. So when is fall? Fall is six to eight weeks before your first expected frost. If you don't know what that is, you can go to our website under the how-tos, links of interest, and you can put in your zip code there and it'll tell you, or you can call your local extension office. Mine's November 15th, so my target to plant fall um, planting of hardy annuals is mid-September to October 1st, six to eight weeks before. For those people that live um, where the ground doesn't freeze in the fall, in the winter, you can plant throughout the winter. Um, and Cool Flowers tells you a little bit more how to do that um, with some special care to help them succeed. All of us, regardless of where you live, plant in very early spring. Very early spring is six to eight weeks before your last expected spring frost. For me, it's April 15th. So we plant more hardy annuals out in our garden between February 15th and March 1st. Think about what's going on around your place during that time. That is perhaps the time we are having a hankering to plant more than any other time. Catalogs are arriving, um, all the seed catalogs and plant catalogs, and you're looking at gardening magazines. So this is the group of flowers that you can plant. But here's the real um, rub on all of that. You have to prepare the area you're going to plant in very early spring and winter in the fall because it's too wet usually to get into a garden and work soil during the winter and early spring. So we prepare the spot and mulch it and it just lays in wait. We walk out to that garden this year for instance, March 1st. We walked out to beds that were made and we actually use a biodegradable film. We pushed the snow off of the bed and planted our plants. We didn't have to do any preparation. So that is how you can 
plant at that proper time. And I think that's a big key to very early spring planting. People will say, well, I couldn't get into my garden. Well, this is what, how you do it. You prepare it in the fall and you make it. So um, you have to mulch or sometimes we use landscape cloth to just cover an area to keep weeds from sprouting. And then if you have an area that you get a lot of snow, you can just pull the landscape cloth off um, and get rid of snow that's in that area also. Um, so that's how we do it. You prepare in the fall. I also I want to share a tip um, about very early spring planting. In my experience, it's much easier to plant those plants um, that we plant transplants versus planting seeds. If you plant a seed straight out in the garden, and there's several cool flowers um, that can be planted that way, because there's not a lot of heat going on at that time of the year, it's not really very warm, it takes much longer for those seeds to germinate. But you know what does germinate during that time? Are cool season weeds. So it's a, a little bit more difficult maintenance um, to plant seeds in very early spring. So my choice is always to plant transplants in very early spring. If a seed, if a flower that prefers to have its seed planted in the garden survives your winter, you're much better off to plant it into the fall um, because they germinate quickly and then that little plant just goes through winter just like one of your little transplants. So I hope that this explanation um, kind of clears the, the fog for you on when to plant. You plant in the fall if a given plant survives your winter and you can look up your zone and what zone a specific flower um, survives to in cool flowers. There's also a, a map in the back of cool flowers you can look up your zone. Plant during the winter if it survives your winter and you can get out in your garden and you don't have a heavy snow load. And all of us plant in very early spring, but you have to prepare in the fall to be ready for spring. And I just want to tell you, just do it. Bite the bullet. Don't be afraid. Pick a flower. Um, I would say that the most hardy, some of the flowers that are the most hardy in up to more um, northern zones are Snapdragon, Sweet William, and Rebecca's. If you're afraid, try one of those and just do it. And when you have success and see that your plant is more robust, it is taller, and it produces more flowers, you'll be ready to roll this coming your next fall and get ready to plant. Um, so I'm so glad you joined us here today. Next week, we're going to talk all about the soil and how you can um, improve any soil. Some is just more difficult to manage. Um, and I hope to meet you back here. And if you're enjoying Cool Flowers, I'd love for you to share a review on Amazon. And you don't have to have purchased it at Amazon to be able to do that. And sharing your experience really helps other people to learn about um, this really great group of flowers that we're connecting the dots on to have spring in your garden like never before. See you next week right here.